If I told you that in 10 minutes, with just a stopwatch, a set of dumbbells, in this much space, you can get in one of the most intense workouts we've ever put up on here on YouTube, would you believe me? You're about to find out. It's cool, young Reese. Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com, bringing to you, like I promised, one of the most intense workouts that we've put up here on YouTube, and guess what? It's for women. Now guys, don't leave this workout now because just because it was created for women, it's part of the AthleteXX for Women program, this challenge, like all the challenges built into AthleteX for men, is going to be one of the most intense things that you do. Now, let me qualify first what we're going to do. We have a stopwatch. We have a little bit of space and we have a set of dumbbells. The concept behind the challenges with Athlete X is if you want to look like an athlete, if you want to thrive and get that, that, that uh, physique of an athlete, you have to start training like one. And these guys are all competitive. They have built in drives to want to compete and be better than either themselves or their competition. In the case of this gym and this workout and Athlete X, we want to make something that you can use to gauge your progress throughout the, the program. What good is it if you don't know if you're getting bigger, better, stronger, other than what you see in the mirror? So we build in these challenges to help you get feedback and see your progress objectively as you go through. This one's a tough one. This is one we're going to throw out there, and I'm going to throw the challenge out to you guys and see what can you do here in the next 10 minutes. The first exercise, you're going to do each one for a minute straight, is push-ups. So we're going to come straight down to the ground. You're going to start your clock, and you're going to come down and do your straight push-ups. You want to go at a quick pace, try to get as many as you can in that one minute of time. If you have to rest at some point, you literally just come down here, hold, right, and then you go back up or you just drop down to your knees. You keep going, you keep a count, how many push-ups did you get in that minute, record it somewhere, just write it down, move right on to the next one. Your rest time in between these exercises is minimal, 15 to 30 seconds just to give you enough time to switch. Next one, straight up into box jumps. Come up to about a 14-inch uh, box or so. Up and come down. Try to get as many full box jumps as you can. Okay, straight through for a minute. These are going to be a killer, I'm telling you right now. Your stamina, your wind, you're going to start losing it right away. Do as many as you can. Record that number. Walk to the next station, which is not too far, as you can see. 15 to 30 seconds and move on to the next one. Cross knee planks. This one, the way we're going to do this is we're going to bring one knee across and one knee across. Every two equals one. So right and left equals one. This would be two, three, four. Okay, you keep that going for one minute. Stop. Count up your total number of reps, right and left again equals one. Write that down, right into bench dips. Standard bench, right here, legs out. Come straight down, about 90 degrees, up and back at an angle. If you really want to work your triceps, work up and back, okay? Legs out straight. If you have to, you bring your legs in, but those don't count as full reps. You gotta get your legs all the way out and you count them up. Next one, sprinter lunges. You come up into a standing position. Again, two equals one on this. Come out here, you reach down, all the way down, over your knee, down your toe, touch the ground like you're in sprinting position, get ready to take off. Push back up, back straight again. This is gonna really fire up the glute on the back side because of this lean forward here, back and push. Every two equals one. Okay, one rep, two reps, okay, three reps. Next one, burpees. I told you this is not going to be easy. Straight up here, your 15 seconds or so after you finish that last exercise, 
Get yourself in position. Come down, hop out, hop in, and up. Okay, straight down, hop out, hop in, and hop up. Keep going through them. Okay, count your total number of burpees. Next station, heels to the heavens. We're going to work our core down on the ground. Again, start your timer. Hands down to the sides. Up and press. Legs all the way down. Up and press. Just above the ground. And press. So remember, you're going for speed here, but at the same time, got to keep your good form. You got to try to pace yourself so you can get the most total number of reps by the time we're finished in 10 minutes of work. Next one. Now we break out the dumbbells for the last three. Get our dumbbells in position. Renegade rows. We work that core again. Get down in position here. Start your clock. Up. Every two equals one. Okay? For the weight of the dumbbells, take about 30% of what you would normally do for an overhead shoulder press. So if you're normally using 50 pounds, 15 or 20 pounds or so for your dumbbells. I've got 20s right here. Next one, thrusters. Grab the dumbbells. Get in position. This is why you need to make that judgment based off of your overhead shoulder press because right now we're going to do that. Come down. You got to touch your knees to your elbows. So straight down, knees to elbows, up and press. Straight down, up and press. Got to get those knees to touch the elbows or the rep doesn't count. And finally, after a minute of those, we go into a minute of the exercise we broke out here a few weeks ago on uh, our YouTube channel here, the No Money Curls. Take your dumbbells up, curl them out to the side, and down in front of your thighs. Up and out, and down. Again, you're working your bicep, okay, but also rotate your cuff in through your shoulders as you come up. As many no money curls as you can in 10 minutes. I'm oh, sorry, one minute. You total all that up. Take all your individual rep counts, add them all up, and see where you are. Now, I'm telling you, I'm going to set the bar for you. I did this challenge and about uh, maybe pass out. I thought, I thought I was going to need paramedics to come and get me and rescue me. 409 reps high total for me on this challenge. What are you going to score at? I want you guys to do the, actually do the workout. Tell me what you got. Push yourselves as hard as you can. Remember, count two and one for those exercises. Add them all up. Keep the rest time to a minimum. No longer than 30 seconds at all between exercises. More towards 15. And you're going to have one of the most intense workouts you're going to get, if not ever, in 10 minutes with hardly any space and a set of dumbbells. Guys, this is what Athlean X is all about. I don't care if it's for women, I don't care if it's for guys, whichever program you're following, it's about intense workouts that deliver results quickly. And it's about having that inner drive to compete against yourself, in this case, to be a better version of you tomorrow than you were today. If you want to join Team Athlean and you want to have a program that has these challenges built right into it so you can ensure that you're progressing, every week within the 90 days, then go to athleanx.com right now, guys. Head over there, grab the 90 day training system. I guarantee you'll be in the best shape of your life. You're gonna have the best body you've had in years. Follow the Athlean X training system, guys. We'll be back here again next week with more videos. In the meantime, put yourself to the double X challenge. Get those comments in on the, uh, uh, down below. Like the video, rate the video. Give me the feedback that I like to get so we can keep these things coming to you. I'll be back here again, guys, in seven days. Cool, young Adios.